Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a very exciting one today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your home look more expensive or more stylish using Poundland items. So I'm a big fan of Poundland. I often pick up things in store and I do use a lot of Poundland items around my home. If you've been here for a while, you will have seen me do lots of Poundland DIYs in the past. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make some really easy switches in your home you make it look a little bit more stylish I'm going to be sharing some DIY ideas with you and also some organizational tips as well so hopefully you'll definitely get something from this video and everything is on a budget most of the items just cost one or two pounds I'm going to be using for all of these ideas for you today I've got two kittens here with me so if you hear some rustling under the table that is what is going on but yeah I'm going to take you through all the ideas we'll do them kind of at the table here I'll also show you how I'm styling up these items in my home and if you haven't got a pound down near to you do not worry most of these ideas can be adapted so hopefully I'll just give you some inspiration you may already have objects in your home that you could use or you might have a bargain store or a thrift store charity shop near to you where you can find similar items right then we'll have a quick sip of the coffee and then we'll get cracking my first idea is to upgrade your storage using some of this vinyl roll that you can get in Poundland. This is just one pound per roll, and they've got some really nice wood effects in there. They've also got some kind of marbly designs, so they've got lots of different designs to choose from. And you can use these to cover things like shoe boxes or cereal boxes to create some really beautiful storage. By creating some really simple storage containers using this wood effect, I think it will make things look a little bit tidier and a little bit more stylish, and it's a lot cheaper than buying things like magazine racks. I'm just using some old cereal boxes and I also spied these alphabet stickers in store which you can use to personalize your storage boxes as well. It'll help you get a little bit more organized. You can pop your initials on them. Poundland have some really great candles in store at the moment. The reason I like these ones is because they're kind of like mini art pieces. They remind me of kind of like modern art, really cool designs. They come in black and white. And by placing these on a stack of books, it can add a little bit of interest and just elevate that pile of books. And a little tip for you is that you can remove the dust covers on your books as well. Sometimes that can make your books look a little bit more expensive. This one was only one pound and mittens agrees. <laughs> Ribbed glass is a really popular trend at the moment and they sell these toothbrush holders in store for one pound each. I think these are really beautiful little glasses. I thought you could just, be a fan of ribbed glass as well. Come and say hello to everybody. So yeah, as I was saying, ribbed glass I think is beautiful and there's lots of different things we can do with these containers. But the idea I had with this is just to turn it into a very simple candle holder. Now I wasn't sure how the glass would cope with heat, so what I'm going to do instead Instead, is add a LED light. So you can pick up these packets. Mittens is scratching my lamp. Stop it. But I'm going to add one of these LED tea lights. You can get four of these in Poundland for one pound. So we'll just pop one of those in and it should create a really lovely lighting effect. Very, very simple. And then in evening time, this will make some really beautiful patterns. Another absolute bargain in Poundland is these bobbly glass jugs. These are just one pound each. I think the price did go up again, but I've spotted them back in store for one pound. These kind of jugs in premium homeware shops can cost an absolute fortune. And I think the design of this one is really nice. I really like the design on the handle. I think you can't go wrong with some really simple glassware if you want things to look stylish and premium in your home. And another little tip for you is to repeat objects. I've gone for three of these and I think they look really nice all together on the table. Either serve drinks in or you could put flowers in these. I think having three all the same looks really chic. A budget friendly way to upgrade your bathroom is to think about the accessories you're using and also the storage. One thing that I spotted in Poundland was this metal container to dispense soap. It's got some diamante going around it so it's not to everybody's taste. For three pounds I thought this looked really premium and it's certainly an upgrade on a plastic soap dispenser. And a few glass jars like this 
can be a really nice way to store some bathroom essentials and keep them all looking uniform. I feel like in the bathroom, using natural wood is really stylish and timeless. And you can pick up these Epsom salts for just one pound, which you can place into here, and then you have a really nice jar of salts next to the bath. Poundland also sell these eco-friendly bamboo toothbrushes, and these have a natural wood handle, which again, I just think looks really nice in the bathroom and will tie in with any natural woods that you have in there. They also sell these jars of bath salts in Poundland. I think these ones are £1.50 and I really like the brown glass jar on this and I've got a little idea of what you can do with this jar once you've finished with the bath salts. I think the design on the front is quite nice with the leaves and it has a really nice glass lid with a little hole in it. So what I thought we could do is use this as a candle holder. It will actually fit a dinner candle in there. You might just need to melt the wax to stick it in place, but it sits in there really nicely. Then we can use the jar itself to put some matches in. Now you can get two pack of the long matches in Poundland for one pound. Then all you need to do is fill up your jar. The matches fit in here really nicely, and then you can trim off the striker on your matchbox and either stick it down the side or stick it underneath your jar. Getting organised all around the home can definitely make it look more premium. Introducing things like wooden coat hangers can make a big difference. I also spotted these passport holders and luggage tags. This set was £2 and it's just a really nice, simple black leather effect, which I thought was a really nice little upgrade for your travel bits and pieces. And combining this with this pencil case that was £2.50, they've also got this in black, I thought this would be a really nice way to upgrade some of your travel accessories and place them all together and it will just look that little bit more premium. These concrete plant pots were £2 a couple of years ago, I'm not sure if they're coming back into store, but fingers crossed they will because I think these look very stylish. They come in a few different shapes and sizes and you can also get some smaller ones in store. I think this was probably £1.50 and by using these all together you can create some really interesting planters. Just by stacking them up and playing around with them you can turn them on their sides as well to create some shelving if you bought a few of these. And I think with them being concrete like this it kind of makes them look like an art piece. They can look really premium when you stack them all up together. These wall baskets have come into store for £1.50 each. I thought we could remove the inner layer. You could definitely reuse this in the garden, that's for sure. And this could create a really interesting light piece. I think by hanging it upside down and introducing one of these push lights in there, it could create a really nice effect. And I thought you could play around with either weaving some different string or twine through this. They also sell crystals in stores, so maybe you could dangle some of those down and create kind of a chandelier effect. Add some tassels or some fringing. You could also add a single bulb solar light in here and have it hanging down and then place this on the wall or you could have a few of them hung around the bottom here and create kind of like an outdoor chandelier. You can find glass jars like this in store. Often they're either storage containers. This one had a metal candle holder inside of it for the garden. I've actually taken that outside and I'm using this one that came in a smaller lantern, but you may have some jars lying around at home already. I'm going to place one inside the other and then we can add some of these scatter crystals. These are from the party section and you get loads in a bag for one pound and i'm just going to tip these in and then just shake them around and pumpkin is loving this one you like your bling don't you pumpkin <laughs> and then into here we can just add a very simple white candle that you can pick up in store for one pound or you could use an led one as well but i think this should be fine with this glass pop that in the middle and how beautiful is that? These would be great for weddings. You could also make a really nice centerpiece for your table. Absolutely love the crystals in here. I think they look so beautiful. Poundland sell these gin glasses, usually in the summertime, for one pound each. I really liked the kind of smoky glass effect on this. They're just made out of plastic. And they also sell these planters. So these are hanging planters 
I think these were £1.50. I really like the metal on this, so I thought what we could do is create one of those table lamps that you see in restaurants sometimes. You know the wireless ones? I think they look really chic and I love the fact they don't have a cable, especially for small intimate dining spaces or little nooks on shelves, that sort of thing. So what I thought we'd do is flip this over and we can stick one of these push lights into here like that. And you simply place it on the base of the glass and you have yourself a really sweet little table lamp. Depending on how you want to style it, you could do different things with the ropes. You could bring them all together at the top and kind of plait them round a little bit or you could have them going around the base or you could remove them completely and maybe thread something else through these holes. Loads of different things you could do with this. It also kind of reminds me of those little lamps that you get on train carriages like on the Orient Express. How fabulous. This is such a simple one, but if you see things with wooden handles in store, I think they always look that little bit more expensive. These trowels are just £1.50. They had some other garden items as well. Sometimes I've seen things like dustpan and brushes in store with a bamboo handle, so it's worth picking those up when you see them. And finally, how about creating a gallery wall or adding some really nice art to your home? I really like these frames because they have the mounts inside, and I think monochrome can be a really stylish and classic look. I think by putting some black and white photographs or images in here, you could find some from a magazine for free. It ties them together, it makes it look a little bit more considered and a little bit more premium. I really hope you liked all my ideas. If you did, do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here for brand new videos every single week. Or if you've been watching me for a while and you haven't subscribed already, then please do, I would love that. You can always catch me over on Instagram as well. It's Mr. Carrington and Mr. Carrington Home. And I'll often share shorter versions of these kind of DIYs and ideas over there. Let me know in the comments down below which of these ideas was your favorite. And if you try any of them and you do take some pictures, then please do tag me over on Instagram so I can see how you get on. But that's it for this one. The kittens are going bonkers behind me, so I better get out of here and see what they're up to. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. And you have a nice little matchbox. No, and then, and then you have a nice little, and then you have a nice little jar and, then you have a nice, then you have a nice way of... Mm. I thought you could just... Mittens! What's the matter? Are you a fan of ribbed glass as well? Come and say hello to everybody. You're being very vocal today. <laughs> so as I was saying, ribbed glass is a really big trend at the moment. I think it's beautiful and there's lots of it in different 